Hey everybody, Mazer here with a brand new review. Today we're going to look at the KD Lynx. I just got this in the mail. Ooh, pretty. What is a KD Lynx? You have no idea. Who has any idea? Who's even heard of these? I have. Basically, this is a little media player that plugs directly into your TV. You plug a hard drive or an SD card or what have you into this little box. You plug the box into the TV. Boom! Media player. It boasts that it could play most formats, almost all formats, including MKV, MP4, and... What is it? Does it say on the box? Oh, right here. Uh, video codec, MPEG-124, X-Video, uh, WMV9, DVX, SD, um, probably completely re reading the wrong stuff here. Anyways, video codec, a lot. Audio format, we have, let me get a little closer here, take a look. We got, where's my thumb? There you are. Ape, MA, MPEG, Audio, MP1, MP2, MP3, MPA. What's an MPA? Picture format. Hey, look at it. There's the shiny box. Basically, this thing says it could support a lot of different formats. 1080p with HDMI. Now, I had an older version of this called the N box, and that thing was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. But unfortunately, uh, Accidents happen, and my poor little end box ended up dying on me. Not manufacturer's fault. That was my problem. Long story, not getting in there. So let's open this thing up and take a look. I want to adjust the camera so we can all look together. Hello, little box. Let's move these controllers up. There's so many remotes. Where's center? There's center. So let's open it up. And there's stuff inside. We have the uh, user manual. We have the do not eat silica gel. You know what? I really have no idea what these are used for. None whatsoever. Something maybe to prevent moisture. I don't know. We got a nice remote. And while we have the remote, we might as well put the batteries in. Hopefully these batteries are good. I don't know. I found them in a drawer. Now we got batteries in our remote. But yeah, it's a typical remote. One through nine. Menu. IMS. Don't know what that is. Eject. How do you eject? Oh, eject hard drives probably. Oh wait, no, I think you could hook this up to a DVD player and you could run a DVD player through this. Uh, TV mode. Play, fast forward, all your standard remote stuff. Open, 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 open. Ah. Here's the box itself. Nice and shiny. Let's remove this because I never liked that. Ah, even shinier now. Ta da! Katie Links. HD movie box. On the front, we got power, we got navigation, home. I don't know. So it looks like headphones. On the side, we have HDMI, oh, wait, that's not HDMI, oh, that's in the back. We have your USB ports, and we got this thingy. I should know what this is, off the top of my head, I don't. Comment below, tell me I'm an idiot. We got, I was ready to say this is for cables, but it's not for cables. I'll show you what these two little things are in a second. We got a compo uh, composite component. Optical, coaxial, HDMI, LAN, because this is wireless, USB, PC, so you can hook this up to your computer. Really, that's awesome. And a optical thingy. Now, what are these precious little gold things? Well, let's find out. By diving deeper inside the box of mysteries, we're going to look at... You know what this is. No bother explaining it. Huzzah! Free HDMI cable. There are a dime a dozen today. Sorry, remote. And little dongles. These 
are the antennae for this because not only can you plug it in using a normal thing, it is all, you know what, I should straighten this out. It is also wireless. So you can watch YouTube, there we go, stay right there. You can watch YouTube and um, I think Hulu without having to turn on your PlayStation if that's what you use it for or your Xbox or your Wii U or what have you. There it is. Ha! It's nice and lightweight but it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like it has a good uh, weight to it. It looks pretty. And it's very nice. It matches my it matches my original Wii, which is over there with the other systems. Alright. So without further ado, let's bring the camera back up. We got a television. Sadly, and I know people are going to complain that I'm not prepared, but I don't have a small TV that's 1080p. I have a nice TV that is 720, which for this video would be good enough. So let's take a quick moment. I want to untie this. Untie, untie, untie. Why are you not untying? Oh my god. Oh, I'm twisting the wrong one. There we go. Come on. More complicated than it should be. We want to plug this in the wall. Look out, kitty. Ooh, that's a short cable. That's a very short cable. That's all right. There. Plug that there. I'm going to take the HDMI cord that they generously gave us, even though HDMI cards are like a dollar a dozen these days. They really are. If people charge you outrageous prices for HDMI cables, you are getting ripped off. HDMI goes here. And we're going to plug this in on my TV. I haven't used HDMI on this thing. There we go. And HDMI goes here. Here. Little power outlet right here. You can see. No, you can't. Hi. Go lower. We got a little blue light. That means it is off. Because the light means it is off. Because that makes complete sense. So we're going to take my little hard drive, which has all sorts of movies and TV shows on it. Pop it down there, and we'll go to the proper channel. Let's see here. Hey, you're embarrassing me. Okay, looks my looks like my remote needs batteries. Uh, channel. Let's see here. No. You see HDMI two. HDMI one. Push power. Ah, it went from blue to red. Uh, oh, blue is on, red is off. I was wondering that. That was kind of weird. So, go up to his HDMI 2. Am I on HDMI 2? Maybe. What am I on? Ah! There we go! Whew. For a second, I thought something happened. So, oh no, I gotta put it on composite first? I do not know. Alright. We got the Media Center. Favorites. Premium apps. Ooh, this has apps. You can press stop to start scanning store. Oh, it's... Excuse me, little antenna. If you, I don't think you can see, I need to tighten this antenna, there we go. It's actually scanning my hard drive right now. So, smart display, web browser, setup. Well, let's see. Jump cut real fast. And we're back. Sorry about that. I had to check on something off camera that I completely forgot what was going on. Meaning my food. Alright. Well, before we get to Media Center, let's take a look at everything. Setup. 
system, audio, video, miscellaneous, let's go miscellaneous, version info, network info, USB upgrade, oh, so you can plug in a USB stick and upgrade this straight through the box, uh, key tone volume, factory default, return, oops, uh, network, let's try, let's see here, do, 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 do. DMLA, smart display, this is all your internet stuff, okay, doesn't seem, uh, video, aspect ratio, HDMI auto, scale video output to 90% off, deep color, 1080p at 24 hertz, that's off. I'll play with that later. Audio, night mode, what's night mode? Uh, surround sound, lip sync. This thing can lip sync, you can sing. You really do do everything. All right, oops, I pushed something. Oh wait, that's the system settings. Uh, oh, this has a screensaver. Um, has a keyboard language of English, scan the storage, auto, resume playback, menus, format storage, blah, blah, blah. Your typical system settings. Let's try the web browser. Can you connect to my internet? Let's find out. Huh. You can. Well, let's just... Um, see if my script, my username pops up at all. Okay, let's see. Search. Well, that's uppercase. Click. And, okay. Let's, let's search for me. Cannot be loaded. Please check internet connection. Press return to exit application. Well, how do we set up internet? That would be something nice to know. Oh well, we'll do that later. Let's see what the smart display is. Ready for connection. I do not know what this is. I will read the instructions later. Premium apps in English. I'm noticing a lot of Chinese on here. We got YouTube, Flickr, Picasa, Yahoo Finance, because that's what I really need in my life. Yup TV, what is that, Yuppie TV? Bungo, and Facebook. And Garen's probably going to say you need an internet connection. Yes, I know, you do not have it. Ah! I did something. Yes, Facebook, no internet. Uh, return, please. Oh, wait, more, more apps loaded. I didn't notice that. Hey, you had more apps a second ago. Uh, favorites. Now let's get to the meat of this. The media center. Da -da -da. File manager, movies, music, photos. Well, since I do not have photos or music on my hard drive, at least that not that I'm aware of, we'll go straight to movies because that is what I'm primarily going to use this for. We got oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have my folders. Maybe I need to go to File Manager. Ah, there we go. There's all my folders. You see, if I, I guess if I go to Movies, it just lists everything on the hard drive, which is actually pretty good. I'm trying to get in the focus. Hi. Anyway, so, but I like keeping my things nice and organized. So let's go to Videos. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. 
check out video game movies, movies based off video games. Uh, I have AVIs and I have a VOB. Let's try both. We'll start with the Mario Brothers movie. Just a few quick seconds. Fast forwards very nicely. Our TV volume is pretty low. My audio seems a little soft. I don't know if that's the box or my TV. I haven't used my TV's audio in quite some time. This used to be my computer monitor for a while. But... So I really can't tell you. But that seems good. Return. Yes. So that was an AVI file. Let's try uh, a VOB. I have Resident Evil right here. Gems. And there you go, you got some uh, you got some Resident Evil, some VOB files, the quality looks as good as when I ripped it. I do own this movie, I just prefer a digital format. Alright, so that works. Let's see what other formats I have. I know I have a few formats on here. Most of them have been converted to play on my PlayStation. Let's see what I have in anime. These are all AVIs. We've already tested that. So Cowboy Bebop's good. I have a folder here called To Convert. Let's see how these play. Uh, let's try this. Oh, that's a picture. Hey. Oh, I deleted that. What about Persona? Do I still have Persona on here? Ah, here we go. Ah, perfect. An MKV. Tell me, little media box, how do you play MKVs? Hello, and welcome to the Bailey Room. Only those who have formed bonds and are bound by a contract are allowed to visit this room. Congratulations, you have awakened your powers. Well, this looks good quality. Well, as good as I, you know, when I ripped it. Again, because the PlayStation had a limit on files it played, I kind of had a little conversion. So, some of the quality on this is not as good. Now that I have this box, that can do 1080p with no file limit, I can actually not have to worry about ooh, that pixelation right there. Ah, this is a bad Jay. file. on that, I'm blaming the conversion process, so let's quickly try skew. This should be a blue, ah, I deleted this too. I'm a terrible reviewer. I deleted Electric Grandmother, that's a shame. Let's see, I might have something in my TV shows we can show off. Oh, there we go, Freakazoid. Uh, M4V. So let's take a look at this quality. Oh. We are 
experiencing technical difficulties, please stay tuned. Look out! Quick, get it back up! Hurry! We are experiencing technical difficulty. There we go. Looks good. Well, it's hard for you to see on camera, but yeah. Now the volume wants to be all high. But there you go. Uh, return. Yes. Now we're going to do a little jump cut again after I set up the internet so we can see what the web browser is like. Back in a second. And we're back. Setting up the internet was quite easy. I just missed a single step where I teach this little guy to scan. So let's try this again. Uh, let's see here. Let's try my name again. Saves your input history, which means you should never search for naughty stuff because everybody will see. Search for me. Thank you. 34%. Ah. Well, my Google is in Japanese or Chinese. I do not know the difference. Oh, if you can see this, I'm not sure how good the screen quality is. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can. There we go, sort of. But yes, now how do you, how do I, how do I browse? That's a very good question. How do I surf the net? Again, there must be something I'm not clicking. Or that I just don't know. But yes, you can see that my name is everywhere. Adam Mazer, that's not me. Dan Mazer, also not me. Mazer, the drinking vessel. Apparently, when I created this persona, I had no idea that Mazer means bowl. Very interesting. It's a large metal drinking cup bowl. What have you. Originally made of wood. Uh, let's see, is there a way for me to have like a mouse feature? I really should read instruction manuals before I do this. Uh, oh. I'm sure there's a way, I just haven't figured it out yet. Let's see. Network, wireless. very well. I don't know why it's in Japanese. I'm going to have to figure out a way to change that. Uh, but now we can probably look at our apps in English, please. And let's try YouTube. Oh. Well, that is a crying shame. But we have a web browser, so we don't need the app. Oh, we're still zoomed in. I apologize. So let's take a, oh wait, see, other apps loaded. We have very HD TV, a lot of, uh, a lot of I guess, I'm guessing Japanese. Well, let's try something I do now. Let's try Facebook. It loads pretty well. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So I just... Oh, nifty. 
So let's sign in. Jump cut because you're not all seeing my password. And there we go. We are back. And I'm waiting for this little thing to finish the last 10%. Interesting. It really did not like trying to get on my Facebook. I cannot blame it. Again, there are probably little features on here that I need to set up that I have to read. The instruction manual form. So, that's easy enough to figure out. I'm sure there's just a few little things here and there. But again, this is not something I want to be used to surf the internet. Although, getting YouTube working would be very nice, because sometimes I enjoy showing friends things I find on YouTube, like cats, or women, or women with cats. But, this is the meat. This is why I got this. Oh, hello, I did not notice this. It could seek out media servers. That is interesting. I have no media server up now, but I've always wanted to get one up and running. So this is a project for a later day. But yeah. It plays videos, it plays my movies. Quite well. Oh, MPEGs. Let's try that. Riddick, would you like to play with us? Let's fast forward. Yes, sir. Riddick is more than happy. Oh, that quality is very nice, actually. Turn up the volume. Not your point coming up. Ah, so apparently the audio, the soft audio from the Mario Brothers video is the actual video itself. As you can hear, this is very well done. And he just died. Huzzah! Much fun all around. What if I pushed audio? Thanks, you got eyes on Riddick? No. Thanks. Well, let's stop this before some copyright person wants to shut me down. Ah, alright, back to me. Hi, that's my chin. You guys can turn on my channel. There we go. But yes, that is the little Katie Links movie box. It was, um, it is $100. I will put the link down for what I plan to use this for, which again is primarily movies. Maybe some music if I have friends over. But yes, this is exactly what I was enjoying. I was uh, enjoying. I was enjoying this. What I was looking for. I think the price is very reasonable. I've considering that a lot of media boxes out there can be more expensive. Uh, I definitely believe we're getting our money's worth out of this. Um, the whole Chinese, Japanese, whatever language that was is interesting, especially since it automatically Googles um, results with that language. I'm pretty sure I just need to update this or set a display setting or something in my... Oh, well, sure, I won't have to study this a little bit. And I would like to get YouTube working. But for everything else, it plays movies. And that's the primary function. It plays movies. In fact, it plays movies very well. We already tried out MPEG, MP4, VOB, AVI, and MKV. And all this really means is that now I just have a good excuse to go back, re-rip some of my DVDs, but a much higher quality, because now I can actually enjoy them. Any, any other formats I have on here that I missed? No, everything basically is set up for my PlayStation 4 since all these were converted and shrunk down. Uh, I'll watch this later. Ah. 
If you can hear the music and tell me what movie this is, you get major points. Anywho, that is the KD link. So you get a nice little box. Now there is a cheaper, I think it's cheaper, maybe. There's another alternative to this that has a lot of the same features. Uh, I think it is excluding wireless. It needs a dongle, but they include the dongle for wireless. And that one lets you play droid games. I'm not 100% convinced that a droid game using a controller versus the touch screen is a good idea because most of those games are programmed for your phone, but it is a nice alternative. I'm going to put a link uh, to this company's website in the description below. I have purchased two things from them, the Nbox and now the KD Links, and I've never had issues. They ship very quickly. And everything has always appeared on my doorstep magically. No, it's all arrived in good condition. They well packed it. I believe it was, um, I got this from, uh, it came in an Amazon box. So it was very well packed, very well taken care of. With zero issues with, you know, things missing or just bounced around or anything. But yes, that is the KD Movie Links. I'm going to play with it, but at the very moment, I really recommend this. It seems to be working beautifully. Just the little things here and there that I need to learn. And all in all, I cannot wait to sit back and just enjoy this. And for you wondering why I have a movie box when I have a perfectly good working PlayStation 3, it is mostly because I don't want to be turning on my PlayStation 3 all the time. Plus, this little thing is a lot easier to carry around when I want to go to a friend's house and bring my library of movies without using my giant DVD binder. So it's just, just a nice little option. It's just a nice option, and personally, I really enjoy it. So thank you very much, and this is Mazer with another video review. Take it easy.